locked in the game. Hi everyone, it is an absolutely splendid day for football and we're looking forward to the game. Derek Ray here on the commentary box, joined as always by former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. And very much looking forward to bringing you live Serie A action. It's coming right up. It's Bologna facing Milan. Yeah, thank you Derek. Always my favourite time of the week, spending time with you at games. We should be in for a belter here with these two. Lukas Skorupski con il numero 30 Gerdi Schouten Quick glance at the Bologna starting lineup. 
You know, many in the media have been talking quite loudly about their style of play and not everybody being kind about it. There are many who suggest it's negative. How do you see it, Lee? Well, listen, Derek, takes all types of play, different formations. Coaches try and adapt a system, soaking up the pressure, getting everybody behind the ball and hitting teams on the counter-attack is probably on the cards for this team today. And Milan's lineup looks like this. Lasciamo che sia il campo a parlare. Buona partita a tutti. And now they get the ball rolling. Beautifully weighted ball. Throw-ins given. And a chance to whip it in here. Looks promising this. Straight offside, but only just. Chalanolu. It's with Mete. It's with Chalanolu. Castillejo. Must be. And a goal! Just what the fans wanted to see. The ideal way to begin. Well, here it is again. You're trained from a young age to get in those sort of positions and never in any real doubt he'd finish that. Cool and composed. Well, he's got to be delighted with his players. A big smile on his face. They've got the noses in front. They're in the lead. Well done. The opening goal of the game then. Ha segnato il Milan con il numero 7, Samu Castillejo. Using his physical strength to shield it. Failed to keep hold of it. Oh, he's really opened them up here. Can he put it away? And a goal! And they've turned this game on its head. Well, we can take another look at this now. And he's connected so well with it. Generated a lot of power. And the keeper just can't react in time. Look. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. Well, there's nothing better for a manager when a plan comes together. Total satisfaction. A second goal for them here. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. Paulo Farago. Options in the middle. So a corner here. Now the delivery of a decisive punch by the keeper. An attack full of promise. 
Really important piece of last-ditch defending. Chalanolu. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. Well, it wasn't a simple save to make. Well, he's given a corner, their referee. And firing it into the area. Romain Perrault on the offensive. Now racing away here. Well, it was a menacing attack, but tidied up. Mitchell Dykes. Intense pressure. Vignato. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Well, that's not watertight defending. Gives it a go! Well, it smacks into the gloves of the goalkeeper. Samu Castillejo. Mandzukic. Well, the referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick. More live football from Serie A coming up for you here on EA TV. It's Bologna facing Atalanta. Yeah, atmospheres make games, Derek, and that should be an absolute belter. Mete. It might be on for them. Attending to his defensive chores. Benassa. He has time to play it over. Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. Chance to run at them. Paulo Farago. Players waiting in the centre. This looks promising. Not showing good patience. And a tidy challenge. Well, the ref will hear the crowd all right. We can hear him from here. He's taking some stick. Chalanolu. It's with Mete. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Another perfect position to read it. Well, the ball lost here. Emmanuel Vignato. Can they get in behind them? Vignato. He takes aim. And a goal to delight the fans. Just what they were hoping for. Well, let's see that again. Oh, it's so sweetly hit. Look at his technique. Absolutely brilliant. He's got the power. He's got the accuracy. And now he's got himself a goal. So there we have it, 2-1. Mete. Mandzukic. Charanolu. 
Now here's Marlon Santos. Moving the ball effectively. Mandzukic. Calabria. And the cross not quite imaginative enough. Chance to cross. Well, there might well be scope for them to counter-attack here. Dangerous-looking attack. Getting in there to intercept. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. Mandzukic. It's with Mete. Wonderfully weighted pass. And it might be. And a goal! They've increased their lead. And they don't want to be throwing it away from here. Well, here's the replay, and it starts with a lovely one-two pass. And then through on goal, you never really had any doubt he was going to slot that away. Good finish. Well, enjoy the good days as a coach. It can be a roller coaster ride, I can tell you that. So there it is, 3-1 the current scoreline here. Strong play here. Now what can they produce on the flank? Accurate ball in towards the near post. And routine for the keeper in the end. The cross far too close to him. Milan's possession stats are brilliant. And what that does, it just relaxes the team. If you've got the ball, you enjoy the ball. And they're turning it into goals as well. Charanoglu. Another goal! And surely there's no way they can throw this away. Absolutely dominant. Well, here it is again, and I wonder how he waltzes past the defender so easily. But then there's plenty to do from there. He's hit it so well, lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. Great strike. Well, you've got to say, an incredible first-half performance. That scoreline tells you all you need to know. Vignato. And on the ball, Danilo. And the electronic board has been held aloft. Three additional minutes here. Mandzukic. A chance to whip it in. Committed challenge. Counter-attacking very much an option. Real chance. Just cleared away in the nick of time. And that will be that. The referee blows the whistle. It's Milan with the advantage. Lee, interested as always to get your take. Well, we know how good their scoring record is. And it's the same story today. Far too strong, far too dynamic for their opponents and clinical when they've had their chances. This could turn into a rout. More goals to come, I think. And now they get the ball rolling.
And away they go again. Breathtaking stuff from Milan in the first 45. What will the second half bring us? Chalanolu. Well, it's a poor tackle. Effective challenge. They've lost it. Chalanolu. Acevedo has it. Mario Mandzukic. A goal! And I'll tell you what, on this sort of form, very few would lay a glove on them. As we can see, right place at the right time. Striker's instinct is to be there or thereabouts. Keeper has no chance. Well, let's have another view of that goal. Well, no wonder he's delighted. They've been bossing this game up to now. A glut of goals, 5-1 it is. And it should be a thrilling match in Serie A, the one we've got coming up for you on EA TV. It's Milan against Udinese. Well, that should be a really interesting match-up atmosphere. I'm sure we're going to get an absolute belter, Derek. No two ways about it, he really has brought his influence to bear on the proceedings. Yeah, he's really been at the heart of their attack, hasn't he? Getting the ball so frequently, making the right runs, releasing the passes at the right time. He'll be happy with his assist too. Played into the centre of the box. Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. Well-timed tackle. And let's join Alan McAnally now because I'm hearing there's been a goal on the Udinese match. Alan. It's a third goal for Lazio. 54 minutes played. 3-0. Thanks, Alan. He's going forward well here. Crossing possibilities. Well, good play to stop the ball going in. An example of how to press. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Well, it looked highly promising, but it came to nothing in the end. Not much defensive cover there on the flank. Chance to finish. Oh, burying them beneath an avalanche of goals. No let up here. Well, let's see the replay and look at the pace at which the counter-attack happens. But you have to say he makes the most of the time and space afforded to him. It's a lovely finish. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. Nicolas Dominguez. All the way through to the keeper then. Mete. Intelligent threaded pass here. A matter of keeping his composure. A goal! He's dispatched it. Much to the sheer delight of the fans. Obviously, it's a tap-in, Derek, but it's the patience in the box I like. A predator's instinct, just waiting for the ball to come to him. 
Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? Well, his players have followed his every command and some. The coach must be delighted. Farago and intercepts again Mete and fed forwards that's all they can conjure for now This looks promising, breaking at pace. A real opening now. Sanchez. Vignato. Can he open them up here? Cuts it back. Oh, a tremendous... It's gone in! And well, he might celebrate on the back of that. Well, here it is again. Lovely disguise on the cross. The pullback catches out the defenders. And still with lots to do, he unleashes a very powerful effort. Gave the keeper little chance. Lovely goal that was. Segnato il Bologna con il numero 24 Rodrigo Palacio Romain Perrault Well they get the ball once more So 20 minutes to go Well the fans are not happy and who would blame them shocking performance so far let their standards slip, I'm afraid. All parts of their game are off today. The concession of a corner here. And they will make the change now. And he's fired over the corner. But the keeper takes command of the situation. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? And still a chance. Hunting a hat-trick he was, but couldn't make it count. Well, so much confidence he's got after his first two goals. You fully expected him to score there, but he's missed it. Time for the change now. Inside the last quarter of an hour. 
Salvi Sanchez. Tremendously strong in the tackle. What a shocking pass, really. That's the kind of shielding play you expect from him. Looks promising, this. Well, he's been ruled offside. Mete. Mandzukic. And a decent delivery. Well, sadly, from his point of view, wayward to say the least. Well, it's a shocker. I wasn't very good at heading, Derek, but I could have done better than that. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Nicolas Dominguez. Well, he's lost the ball. Dangerous looking attack. Ready at the far post as Mario Mandzukic. High degree of difficulty to hit it on the volley like that, and it was close. Well, it's all about timing. You've got to wait for the ball to come down, and he's very, very unlucky. News of a goal in the Udinese game. Alan McAnally can tell us more. It's another goal for Lazio. Seven minutes remain. 4-0. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. A bit sloppy in possession. Marlon Santos. Acevedo has it. Mandzukic. It is a decent looking attack here. Oh dear, I think he's left his shooting boots behind in the dressing room. Well, it was well worth the effort. Poor technique, really. Should do better than that. Emmanuel Vignato. Chance to do damage. Alsoma. Crossing possibilities. Well, he's outplayed and outthought. And in with a real chance. And there it is. A goal. But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at the best. Well, here's the replay. It's a very neat piece of deception to get past the defender. And when he gets through to the keeper, he just smashes it past him and gives him no chance to think. A lovely finish. Acevedo. Well, wait, don't go anywhere. We're going to have five additional minutes. Mandzukic prepared to fire. Oh, heading it narrowly over the top.
Nicolas Dominguez. Well, they couldn't keep possession. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Roberto Soriano. That's a lovely ball. And space for the cross. Important facet of his play. Holding the ball up and waiting for support. Simple for the keeper. Now we can say it's final. And we can say that Milan have officially prevailed. Lee, I wonder what you felt about their overall performance. Well, it must be a dream as a striker to play in this. It's with Mete. 